Could I pass by a number that adds up to 17? I ask you, baby. Why can't you work up a passion for steamer tickets? They've got numbers on them, too, and they get you somewhere. Listen, if I win, you can have a dozen trips back home. One's plenty. If I ever get back on Broadway, they'll have to blast me off. You can have Broadway. I'm staying here. Thanks for the gift, but it looks like we're both staying here. <laughs> Holy look. What's the matter? One seven, one seven, one. Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. What did I tell you about seventeen? Now what do you got to say? I'm, I'm speechless. I'm down. You look it. What's that, Joe? You want five thousand dollars? <laughs> Listen, Joe. I am a reporter. No newspaper man ever had five grand, and even if I did, I w What's that? Oh, you won five thousand dollars. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, I'll come right over and help you count it. Always glad to do anything to help out a friend. <laughs> then there are five thousand dollars. Diga a su amigo que tendrá que esperar un momento por el dinero. Sí, sí. Sí, what? He says you'll have to cool your heels while I write out a check. Suits me. Tickets for next week? Well, I never want anything but four in my life. Let me collect it for you. No, it'll spoil the fun. I want to do it myself. Señor? Sí, señorita. Oh, oh wait a moment. Uh, Harvey, give me the, the ticket. I don't think you gave it to me, Di. If it was my lottery, I'd give her all the prizes. I haven't got it. Look in your purse. <laughs> Wouldn't it be just like me to lose it? Well, there it is. <laughs> You're a help, Hobby. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, would you catch this, please? Por supuesto, señorita. What's biting you? She's got my number. Anybody can see that. I mean my lottery number. What? Huh? Oye, Alfredo, ¿cuál es el número que tienes ahí? There's something, Foley. You and I have the same number. I thought these lotteries were run by the government. They are, but Foley's can be rung in by anybody, anywhere. I guess you're out of luck, sister. Well, I think I'll live through it. That's talking. You're a good sport. Esto no es oficial. Es que no tiene la marca de agua. Eh, señor. Sí. No puedo pagarle. Este billete es falsificado. No tiene la marca de agua. Lo siento muchísimo. What is he talking about? The man says it's counterfeit. There's no watermark. You've been gypped. Gypped. Oh, I get it, baby. So you're in with the racket, too. Wait a minute. How do you mean? I lost, didn't I? Yes, it was awfully bad luck. Look, I got 5,000 bucks coming to me, and no dame's gonna jip me out of it. <laughs> Are you accusing me? Do you think that... Oh, no, nothing like that. I win a prize, and you cop it. Better not squawk. This is government business. I have my rights, haven't I? I think you've said enough. Never mind, Harvey. Let me handle it. Yeah, leave it to her. She's doing all right. Eh, un minuto, señor. ¿Quiere usted decir que esta lotería no es legal? Of course she doesn't. He knows the lottery's fair. Uh. Shut up. You get yourself in a jam. You owe this lady an apology. I don't want an apology. Señorita. You should learn to take your disappointments like a good sport. Come on, honey. Can you beat that? Right in my hands and she walks off with it. That's that. Oh, forget it, Joe. Just a break. Where till I find the bird that sold me these tickets? Oh, don't be silly. You wouldn't know him if you saw him. I'd know him anywhere. I never forget a face. All right, all right. There's no use hanging around here. Eh, hey, señor, venga acá. ¿Qué dijo su amigo? Dice que nunca se olvide de nada. Él es un elefante. Eh? Elefante. 
El pobrecito elefante. What were you telling that guy about me? I said you were an elephant. What do you mean I'm an elephant? An elephant never forgets, see? That's why you're an elephant. You're right. I never forget. It's time we're getting to the rolling tar. Come on, Joe. It's dull. I'm distinctly fed up. I want to make loud, rude noises. I want to spill things and push chairs over. After all, I'm a human being, and I'd like to act like one occasionally. Di, I have the solution to all your troubles. If you'll only take it. He keeps proposing in front of me, and it makes me nervous. Why won't you marry me, Di? It's all so right. We have the same background, the same friend. You're some very nice things, Harvey, but not even a doting mother would recommend you as a cure for what's wrong with me. No, it won't work. What are you talking about? We're talking about astronomy. <laughs> Harvey, isn't that the man we saw at the lottery with my victim? Victim? I told you the man that had the same number as I lost on. Really, Di, I can't understand you. The matter was of no consequence if you keep right on thinking about it. Yes, I do. I'm sure he needed that money. Senorita, do you know that gentleman at Oh, very well. His name is Senor Flash. Ask him to come over, please. Si, senorita. What's the idea, Di? Look here, Di. He's probably like his friend. They're not our kind. You know that. I should say not. They breathe and have blood in their veins. Oh, it's nice of you to join us, Mr. Flash. Sit down and have a drink. Delighted. Miss Lesher, Mr. Flash, Mr. Fletcher, Mr. Watkins, and I'm Diana Hellman. Not, not the Diana. <laughs> no, not the one that used to be on top of Madison Square Garden. No, oh, I mean the one that sits on top of the world, out there on that 400-foot yacht. <laughs> it's only 210. That's practically a robot. <laughs> Diana Harris. Oh, boy, am I in luck. I've been trying to dope out a way to meet you. i got to have an interview. Oh, you're in for it now, Di, and you brought it on yourself. There's one thing I want to know. There's one thing the whole world wants to know. Are you two engaged? No. Oh, couldn't you be? <laughs> it would be swell for me. You can break it later, and then that'll give me two big stories. Oh, I'm sorry. But I'll give you an interview on another subject, if you'll give me one first. Shoot. I want to know about your friend, the one with the wrong ticket. Who is he? His name is Joe Martin. He's a dancer and a... <laughs> Cuban, no doubt. It's in their blood. He's only half Cuban. He comes from New York. What difference does it make where he comes from? What's that dame with the lottery ticket doing here? I guess she's celebrating. Did she pick out some other place to do it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Mr. Sykes, would you ask Mr. Mark to join us? Sorry. Would you? Sure, I'd be glad to. Excuse me, I'm taking this for a friend of mine. Don't feel so good. Mr. Martin? <laughs> me. <laughs> well, I feel I owe something after all. 5,000 is a lot for a man I tend to lose. But you're not responsible. What are you doing at that table? An interview. Don't you suppose I ever work for a living? Listen, Joe, she wants to meet you. Why does that dame want to meet me? Will you stop asking me riddles? All I know is she's one of the richest girls in the world. That's the trouble, and I'm just smart enough to know that I can't handle it. But she's a swell dish. Too swell. Well, what harm can it do to sit down at the table? Don't cost anything, does it? And let her have a good time at my expense? Nothing doing. Now scram. We'll use the flashy one, but he's alone. Let's get out of here. It's getting late. Just a moment. I want to straighten this out. Where is he? He's, uh, he's in his dressing room. What well, is he coming? He asked me to excuse him. He's not feeling so good. <laughs> so he won't come. He'd be glad to, but he's got a very important appointment with a big manager from New York. Then I'll go to him. Will you show me to his dressing room? I'll go with you. No, it'll embarrass him. You stay here. It'll be all right. Come in. Oh, it's you. Good evening. I suppose you came to see how I was bearing up. Well, the answer is fine. Uh, do you mind if I sit down? Why should I mind? You still think I cheated you? How should I know? But it's okay. Let's forget it. I can't forget it, that's the trouble. The money means nothing to me, absolutely nothing. I'm not boasting, really, I'm not. No? What I mean is, we each thought we had the right ticket. It was merely luck that gave me the certified one, and I think it was terribly unfair. I want to pretend it was the other way around. Let me get this straight. You want to give me that dough? Yes. Say, I'm not taking money from you or any other dame. What do you think I am? I'm sorry. Don't be sorry for me. I'll own one of these joints someday. Oh, I don't back you. How's that? Sounds like you're interested in me. I am. Well, why didn't you come out and say so? I did. It's all right with me, baby. I'll play. You sure make the great on looks. I came here to talk about that money. Of course you did. It was a good way to start. Are you going to let me help you with uh, the dance hall? What dance hall? No. Good night. What's the rush? Come on, be yourself. Will you uh, kindly open the door? You look swell when you're mad. You evidently misunderstood why I came here. I know why you came here, baby. It's been a long time since I've had to slap a man's face. I told you you look swell. Next time I go slumming, I'll remember to stay out of the gutter. Hey, don't give me that. Listen, baby. Nine! If you know what's good for you, you'll mind your own business. Who's gonna make me? She started something and I'm... Bring it. Get out. Get it out, Joe. Hey, all right, boy, all right. Come on, Dad. Will you guys let me go? We'll let you talk. We'll let you go wherever you want. I had enough of you. You're fired. Fired? Thanks. Hey. Uh, senora, senorita. That's all right. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, slight to understand. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you did it. I cured that mug. Yeah, I think you cured yourself of eating, too. It'll give you a story. Oh, sure. Ex-dancer starves to death. Loteria Nacional. It may be the lucky number. Loteria Nacional. This may be the lucky number. Buy a number? Yes, you're the guy. Now what you're all about? That's the boy that sold me that ticket. I don't forget. I know. Just an elephant doing his stuff. Genia mia, bella ilusión. Dame tu amor, que tu sonrisa llena mi alma. De dulce algo, tus ojos negros me digan. Bien amado, la pena que existe. Ah, 
Joe. Don't ask me. He's your sister's son. He reads the theater magazine all day long, pays no attention to the store. He will learn. No, he does not like this little village. Uh, well, after La Habana, this must be too quiet for him. He's too quiet. Always excusing him. <laughs> Hello, Aunt Maria. Here's your mail. Can I wait on you? Yes, I would like a fan, a lovely one for the fiesta, you know. A fan? Yes. Let's see, uh... Here we are. Oh. Here we have some very pretty bandanas. Yes, but I prefer a fan. That's right, you said a fan. Yes. They're over there. You can hold the stall better than I do. <laughs> no, no, the other box. This one? That's it. Oh, this one is lovely. Is it? But I have only 50 cents in it. 50 cents? It's a mistake. It's yours. Really? Sure. Thank you. Have you? Wait a minute. Can I take you home? Oh, you're very kind, Senor. I really don't think it's necessary. Oh, I don't be foolish. I couldn't allow you to go home alone. Especially with a valuable fan like that. <laughs> oh, uh, about the fiesta. Is there some boyfriend taking you? You mean you would like to take me? I mean I am taking you.
Kids spent months down in the country learning this new dance. Now, we open a nightclub, you understand? And it's a sensation. We clean up. Listen, back in Texas, I made my money in cattle. And if I ever invest any of it, it's going to be in more cattle. Oh. Oh, well, that's right, that's right. That's what we're going to have in this place. The most beautiful bunch of calves in all the world. Now you're talking. How much do you need? Well, that's just about right. No, oh, no, no, no. One thousand dollars. That's all the money I'll invest to start with. Well, that's not very much. But it will have to do. <laughs> it will suffice. Count out one thousand dollars. And remember, I'm watching you. Yeah, I know, I know. One hundred, two hundred, three, four, Five, six, seven. You know, your children are going to be very proud of you when they find out about this. How many little ones have you? How many kids? I got two. Two, eh? Yeah. <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. How old is the oldest? Old? Mm -hmm. She's about four. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. And the youngest? How old is the youngest? My little one? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just a baby. He's just one year old. Just one, eh? Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Just one, what? two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. one thousand. <clears throat> oh, you know, it's really a shame that you have such a small family. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're entirely welcome, sir. Uh, what are we going to call this place? The home of fine calves, eh? Oh, no, no, no. We're going to call this in honor of the kids. Yeah. We're going to name this place Elefante. Yeah. Shaking hands with everybody in Havana tonight. I haven't looked yet, but it sounds like a great opening. Even I'm excited. Me, the man with nerves of steel. If I asked you something, do you think you know what I'm talking about? I'll answer it before you ask. First, the Harrison yacht arrived this morning. Second, she got the card I checked. Third, I have reserved a table in case. Fourth, I have rolled out everything but the red carpet. Now, what do you suppose that's for? I remember. I was going to get a drink. <laughs> Isn't it time? Say, you look swell. Better than swell. Thanks. I hurried. I was so afraid I'd be late. 
Well, if I'm going to make the announcement, I better have that drink first. Must you have a drink before you do it? I must have a drink before I do anything. Oh, uh, sit down. I'm too nervous to sit down. What are you nervous about? You can do that dance backwards. Well, I know, but with all those people staring at me, it'll be different somehow. Oh, but don't worry. I'll be all right the minute I start to dance. Sure you will. Honey, they'll be crazy about you. Just as crazy as... As you are about that Harrison girl? You're wrong, baby. Wait and see. great pleasure to introduce to you our host, Senor Jose Martinez, and his charming partner, Carmelita. Thank you. 
wonder if he's coming over here. Very probably. Well, I'd like to go someplace someday where Di doesn't know him. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Harrison. I don't suppose you remember me. Oh, Martina, I, I don't think I do. But I do remember Joe Martin, a very rude person. You know, Miss Fletcher, of course. Yes. Hello. Mr. Dean. How do you do? Mr. Bromley. Mr. Senor. Martinez. How do you like my face? It's lovely. It's very charming. Do you mind if I ask Miss Harrison to dance? Not at all. Oh, excuse me. Order me some food. All right. Dancing in public with a man like that. Twenty million dollars can't be wrong. Come along very well since the last time I saw you. Yeah, and without taking money from Dave. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten about that night in your dressing room. Oh, had you? I said the almost. You're a swell dancer. Thank you. Oh, that rumba you danced, it was lovely. Is it very difficult? No, you just have to learn the steps. Well, you've got to have rhythm. You've got all the rhythm in the world. <laughs> what were we talking about? Me, and I thought it was very interesting. That's what I think. How long are you going to be here? Just a few days. Why? Then we can dance a lot together. I might even learn that rumba. I'll teach you. <laughs> I was only joking. I wasn't. Let me. I don't know. Is it a go? Maybe. What perfume is that? All I remember cost $35 an ounce. That's about 50 cents a whiff, isn't it? Uh, just about. A little whiff like that? Uh, 10 cents. <laughs> Tired? I'm not, but you've been dancing tonight. Oh, that? That's business. How is business? Act as usual. Every table but yours. Turn them away. I told you I didn't think I could come. Why didn't you sell my table? You want me to tell you? No. Oh, uh, try this. Oh, I remember. Can you? Now, let's try it together. Let's start and do it from the beginning. Oh, this music. It's a love dance. I can easily believe that. A love dance. Uh, what's the next step? That's up to you. <sighs> what time is it? It's very late. I should have been home hours ago. <laughs> I've heard that every day for two weeks. It's the truth. Stay and have a bite with me. I couldn't. Are you sure? Very sure. Let's dance. <laughs> you think if you ask me while we're dancing, you'll have better luck? Let's try. Oh, I ought to break this record. Such a nice record. Give me my coat. I don't want you to go. Maybe I don't want to go. Well? But I'm going. If you don't show up at the club tomorrow night, I'm going to come and sit on your doorstep. <laughs> on a yacht, there isn't any doorstep. I'll bring one with me. Goodbye. the right tune, then something should be right. Everything's right. Me, you, the world. Oh, everything's right. And what's the reason? Just 
The sea air and the sunshine. And the cigarette smoke that blows through the cabaret. Why don't you tell the truth? All right, I love him. Pat, have you ever had a man say to you, Kid, you're an awful swell, baby. No. <laughs> You've missed half your life, then. What's he going to lead to? Is he in love with you? Well, he never told me in words, but you ought to see the expression in his eyes when he looks at me. Pat, I'm so mad about him that... Yes, Lord. A radio grab, Miss Harrison. Well, we'll leave it on the table over there. Thank you. Aren't you going to open it? You read it, I'm busy. Your mother and I distressed by newspaper story of you and nightclub dancer. Go on. You will come home at once. Have wired Captain to stay up in New York as soon as yacht can be cleared. Give me this. Let me hear the finish. Time has arrived when your engagement should be announced to offset this story. Ooh, sending me a wire like that. Treat me like an infant, will they? Run my life for Or oh, take it easy, darling. Oh, I'm glad they made the issue, not I. Now I'm free to act as I choose and I shall. You can bet money on that. Don't be too hasty. Sleep on it. And wake up a hundred miles at sea, not me. Oh, I know what I'll do. This is the excuse I've been looking for. If there was anything needed to get me to do what I really want to do, was that wire. Oh. Come in. From Miss Harrison. Messenger is waiting. Well, here I am, for better or worse. Make up your mind, which? <laughs> Think I wasn't coming? Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks. Drink? Don't need one. Well, weren't you surprised to get my note? Not very. Oh, I see. Every charming young lady who teach the rumba eventually sends you a note and is told to come around at 2 o'clock in the morning. Not always. Sometimes I feel tired until them 1 o'clock. <laughs> Thanks for a dubious compliment. Don't mention it. I would have been very disappointed if you hadn't done it. Would you really? I've been hoping for weeks you'd do something like this. Good. I've been hoping I would too. Aren't you going to ask me what I wanted to see you about? Why, sure. What is it? It seems we've become copy for the newspapers and What I... of it? Everything you do is news. Even when it comes to slumming around with a dancer. What are you talking about? The next time, remember to keep out of the gutter. Why are you acting like this? How do you expect me to act? You're just another dame as far as I'm concerned. I'm sorry. I, I made the mistake of thinking we felt the same about each other. Now that it doesn't make any difference, I'll tell you something. I got a wire from my family. They want me to come home immediately. I, I see. So you came here to tell me you were leaving? No, not quite. 
I came here hoping you wouldn't let me go. Sure. You would have gotten a kick out of that, wouldn't you? You would have liked me to beg you to stay, and tomorrow morning you would have left anyhow. You're wrong. I had a choice to make, and I made it without a hesitation. Came with my family, I wasn't interested in coming back. And I chose you instead. And it wasn't just for tonight, as you seem to think. I never thought you felt that way about it. Well, now you know. Goodbye. Died! I'm sorry. You're a swell girl. I never knew how swell you were. That's all right. I, I just want to get out of here before that funny, numb feeling wears off and it starts to hurt. You can't go. Ah. Don't cry, darling. Don't. I can't help it. I guess I'm a little lonely. You know Miss Harrison, don't you? I wanted to meet you. Thank you. Joe's been telling me how crazy you were about him. Joe's been telling you that? Let's get out of here. Just a minute. I didn't come here to see you walk out on me with that woman. You told me I don't care what I told you. Joe is so funny. First he tells me to be sure and come here tonight, and then when it's I... It's all do, a mistake. Come he on. He told me that he hated you. You told us that? Yes. Go on. I knew you were coming here. He told me all about it. He has never forgotten what you did to him, and tonight he was going to pay you back. You're crazy. Am I? He was going to let you make a fool of yourself, and then treat you like all the other women. I didn't think you... I guess I didn't think at all. I don't know why I didn't see it. Same Joe Martin. Only not so obvious. Thank you very much. So easy for a woman to make a fool of herself. I'm surprised I haven't done it before. Well, I said what you wanted me to. Almost word for word. It was a great trick. I wonder who it's on. A dancer in a cabaret. Can you imagine whatever attracted her to a man like that? Yes, I can imagine, but that's not the point. You are her father, aren't you? Uh, yes, dear, but, uh... But she's been home two days now. Why don't you say something to her? Well, I, uh, I I'm going to. But when? I immediately, my dear, I immediately. You told me that yesterday, and I suppose you've lost the report, too. Uh, no, I, uh... Well, here I am. How are you? But you don't look very well. I'm sorry, dear, but I feel fine. Sit down. Your father has something to say to you, haven't you, Henry? Uh, yes. Hello, Diana. Henry. Uh, yes. Uh, and Diana, uh, your mother has, um... You too. Uh, yes. Uh, your mother and I have been, uh, very much troubled about this, uh, this, uh, hoofer. Done. Uh, oh, yes, that's it. You see, uh, uh, we thought that, uh, well, uh, that is, uh, uh, if you look at this detective's report, you'll see that our concern is, is not without reason. 
It seems that uh, a few years ago, this Joe Martin was connected with a gang right here in New York. He got tied up with them quite innocently. Does it say that? Uh, yes, dear, right here. Then he didn't do anything wrong himself. He probably did. Well, it, it doesn't say so here. Well, well read the report. Uh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> Martin had some evidence that would send one of the gang to the chair. They, uh, they tried to frame him, and then they tried to bump him off. There's nothing against him yet. But uh, Martin was too clever for them, and, and he got away. Now I know why he hates Broadway. Why he'd never come back. Uh, would you care to read the report yourself? No, thanks. Now you see the kind of man he is. Yes, I see. Don't fret, Mother. There's, there's nothing for you to worry about concerning Joe and me. I'm, I'm never going to see him again. And I might as well tell you, I've broken my engagement with Harvey. You can't do that. I did. Oh, he's such a fine young man. If you like him so well, dear, why don't you marry him yourself? Henry, why didn't you say something to her? Well, I, I couldn't think of anything to say. You know, to speak conservatively, my show will be the biggest sensation Broadway's ever seen. If, uh... Oh, there is an if. If I can get Joe to come to New York to do that rumba. I've got a spot in the second act. As a matter of fact, I'm going to build the whole show around him. Don't tell me, tell him. Haven't I been telling him for three days? Why did I come to Cuba? Is he sane? I'm still wondering whether I'm sane. Do you know how much money I offered Joe? Sure, half. Half of what? Half what you're going to put in the paper. <laughs> now I'm going to try once more. It's no use. I'm not interested. Get this through your dome. I'm not going to New York. But why? Think of the money. If I was after money, do you think I would close up this place just when it was coining dough? I'm fed up with the whole dance racket. I'm through. I'll make it $2.50 a week more and pay everything. If I said I'd go, you'd believe me, wouldn't you? Sure. Then why don't you believe me when I say I won't go? But there's no sense to... Oh, let me live my own life, will you? I'm not going to New York. I'm not going to dance in your show. Let me alone. I give up. Tomorrow I sail for home. I quit a good newspaper job to manage a dancer. Just when he quits dancing. Oh, forget it. <sighs> Just because you lost the day and you close up the business. I've got the option of going to work or starving to death. Tell him I've changed my mind. I'll go in his review. Huh? Don't sit there with your mouth open. Well, aren't you taking an awful chance going to New York? Get him and draw up the contract. <laughs> we eat. Harrison is not in. Was that Joe again? He gave another name. You'll run out of names soon. He's been turning heaven and earth upside down trying to see you. And Letters, telegrams, flowers. It's all a waste of time. I'm through, definitely. I see. I, I don't like him so near me. It's too close, these, these constant reminders. Well, I want a drink. I'll have one, too. Just a silly, cheap thing. 
What I took for romance was merely a trick of the climate. I thought that... This time he gives the name of Mr. Brown. <laughs> what are we doing about opening night? Are we going? I'm not. But I did order tickets. Okay. No message. Come in. Mr. Martinez, a man left this note, said it was important. How did you get in here? What difference does it make? I have to see you. All right. Let's get it over with. Well, what is it? You don't think I like coming here, do you? If it had been any other dame, I would have forgotten her long ago. I've been trying to with you. But I can't seem to do it. What else? Maybe you don't know it. The only reason I'm back in New York is on account of you. Well, that's very flattering, I'm sure. You're right. You walked out on me in Atlanta. You thought that would finish it. It did as far as I was concerned. Not with me, it didn't. That's the reason I've been trying to get in touch with you. You've got to know that... I know. I thought you'd realize it wasn't any use. None of this means anything to me anymore. You're only part of a very unpleasant episode in Havana. Now, if you don't mind, I have a lot of things to do, and I'm in a hurry. Listen, Jose Isn't Martin... Isn't the same guy used to call himself Joe Martin? Who wants to what know... What about him on that Harrison day? I'm trying to tell you something that's yeah. going... Where did he pick up this rumba? In the interior of Cuba. That's what else what does he do besides chase dames? Chase dames? Jose Martinez? Listen, I had to hire a midget with a club to stand outside his door to beat the women away. That was in Havana. I'm going to hire a giant here. <laughs> <laughs> Why the delegation? It's your reporter. Hold it. We got time for a few questions, Mr. Martinez? In a minute. Come on inside, Flash. I want to talk to you. Read this letter I got. Think it's on the level? I'm afraid so. What are you going to do? I'm staying right here. What are you trying to do? Get yourself bumped off? I'm opening here hot or cold. You're cracked. You get a note warning that you're going to be popped off opening night and you haven't got sense enough to take the tip? What's the matter with you? Nothing. Make a good story. Let's tell the boy. Nothing doing. Come on, let's get rid of him. Well, what do you suppose happened to those boys? Give me the copy desk. Get this, Mac. Call it the dance of death. Jose Martinez will defy death at Stollinger's opening Monday night. Good luck tonight. May I have 
your autograph. Sure. Signing your last will and testament. Joe, please, let's not stand here. Don't weaken now, baby. You're doing swell. Thank you. Hello. The men at their posts? Yes, sir. Everything is covered. They are okay, Jim. Do you think they'll shoot him at the beginning of his dance or at the end of it? Well, if they have any sense of drama... Which they have. They'll probably shoot him right at the end for the big wow finish. <laughs> Who do you pick to do it? Well, uh, quite a few look like candidates to me. How do you feel, kid? How would you feel if you were in my place? I can't do it! All I see are guns, all I hear are shots. You are too nervous. Let me do it for you.
Chin up, baby. I want to go through with it. Really? Get it, doctor, quick. Can't do that. I can't. Watch me. But you've no single routine. I'll add live one.
<laughs> you were swell. Uh, I haven't the faintest idea what I was doing, but we're alive. Nobody's more surprised than me. Well, Jack, I guess you better change the billing from now on. Oh, I think I'm afraid. I was afraid you were going to do that before. <laughs> I did have time. Will you take your bows? Cut the bows. You've taken enough chances. Bow all you want to, brother. There's no danger. All those guys are behind bars. I made sure of that when I wrote the letter. You wrote the letter? Sure, it was a publicity stunt. Best one I ever thought up. Put you over with a bang. Another great trick like that and I'll shoot you. Will you take your bows, please? Come on, honey. You might as well learn how to take them. 